Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Thanks for showing up. Here, I thought this was going to be a rescue. Right, there's a story here. You know a guy called Hatch? Serene's right-hand man. He was here. He gave me this big speech about how he wants to take down Paul. I hope you said no. I didn't trust him for a second. He set me loose anyways, told me to wait for an opening. I just gave you one. Appreciate it. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, weenie. Oh, well, in that case... My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. Good luck. Hey! He's escaping! will hurt in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, we're gonna have to move fast for the group. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? You'll see a radar tower up ahead soon. Let me know when you get inside. All right. Very sci-fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. Warn me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? Up you go. Try this again. All right, let's go. Hey, 
It was just our people there. We can spin it however we want. Call it an accident. We got contact! Thank God. Time felt broken here. The whole cannon felt unstuck in time. It's locked. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. Projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Emma, you'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Emma would have that in her office, too. I'll keep an eye out. See if I can grab it for you. Beth, I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. This is Teresa. Oh, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain layer? <laughs> you have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Fuck. a momentous occasion for years we have been building towards this day. Speech is streaming. Let's give Monarch the audience they deserve. Training, 
For me personally, this marks the end of a 17-year journey, and today we emerge from the shadows. We do so accepting great responsibility. Beth, I'm about to take the elevator. I see Paul's still fond of his own voice. Yeah, he's talking about his survival plan. Crowd's eating it up. Dr. Amaral's office. Looks like that's one level up. The device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. ordered Hatch to kill me because he didn't want to put his plan at risk. But seeing the scale of that facility, I started realizing just how deep that plan went. It made me wonder. Time was ending. What was it all for? The chart showed that all of Monarch's major technological advancements started in 2010. Around the same time that something else happened. Ground Zero.
Which way is Amon's office? Guessing this isn't the usual employee route. I knew that Monarch had technology to let their soldiers move in stutters, but this was bigger than that. Somehow, time flowed normally in that area. Suddenly, Monarch's lack of concern about time stopping made a hell of a lot more sense. That's Emma's office. The Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. There looks like what Beth wanted. Oh shit. Emerald's at the party. The stutter won't last. 
I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. I had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. Guns made to operate in a stutter. Paul had clear priorities. When time ends, guns don't. Monarch combat gear was unwieldy. What I'd taken from Dr. Amaral's office was, uh, is much lighter. Almost like a civilian model. All I had to do was make it through the garage. Seems simple enough. We got contact! What the f 
fuck? Alert! Oh, shit. Jack Joyce has escaped custody and is now present at the R&D facility garage. Repeat, Jack Joyce has escaped custody. He is to be neutralized at all costs. Move around! Talking about. Beth, I got that device for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Want to be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail, Weenie. I'll make my way there. Serene's finished his speech and he knows you're loose. He's headed your way. Remember what we said. I'll keep you on these guys and switch to the Monarch Weenies and make sure you stay out of his crosshairs. Okay. I've got come. for Joyce ASAP. Monarch Actual is moving in to intercept. This is Home Guard 5. Just spotted him entering the tunnel system outside the party grounds. Beth? I'm on my way. Took out my entire squad. Requesting immediate backup in here. Huh. Again. I could see the mansion where the gala was. I had to find a way to get there. I could see the energy field of another monarch chronon down. It would drain my powers. I'd have to find a way to shut it off. Hit. My powers won't work within that sphere. I better be careful. Huh. Security's tight. Maybe we'll shut that off. Thanks for the hit. Get a move. 
You were headed for the party. What was your plan? I needed to get to Dr. Amaral before the stutter ended and Monarch found out I was coming. <gasps> Should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. This wall is a blow. Make sure Make everything sure goes smoothly at the same end. You know how important this party is to us. Hope I'm not overstepping my bounds here, sir, but I don't like it. Please take Mr. Serene's speech had been a success. The world was falling apart, but the wine and cheese crowd was enjoying their little goddamn soiree. shooting up half a positive amusement park. Yeah, well, Monarch does. I don't think my cover's gonna last. Yeah, well, I don't think it would do much good for the next part anyway. Okay, Dr. Amaral somewhere inside the mansion. Let's go grab her. Bit of luck, we can be gone before anybody notices. Okay, lead the way. What's our plan once we grab her? There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. Before time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to it, Doc.
But you're coming with us. We need your expertise. No. I'm not asking. Where's the damn boat? It's right there. Okay, go! Get her on the boat, I'll keep you going. Oh my god! Hurry up! I'll never get away with this. Shit. Get in! gate. What about you? You're clear. Go. I can swing by go. and... No. Just go. We went to all this trouble to grab her. Beth, I'm counting on you to keep her alive. I'll make my own way out. My plan was simple. There was a bridge to the mainland fight my way through anything Monarch would throw at me and then steal a car, drive it back to the swimming pool. Just remember, we need your ass alive for the next part. Let's see how it shakes out. Taking the shot. Start searching.
With Beth and Dr. Ammer all clear, it was time for me to get gone. For that, I needed wheels. Valley parking. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Morton, how is it possible he managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Amaral doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I want to remember him. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. She knew you'd never make it without those treatments. Then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable.
Sophia's data has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. I see. Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. She'd been here the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. You shouldn't worry so much. Back up slowly. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. Paul's a very dangerous man, and things will only get worse if he continues unchecked. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A current undisrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 no. Put one of those on! Hatch. And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that 
I'd be on that list, right? Not in the Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion of this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But you'd be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Selene. You see, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation, it can only be done from the inside. Put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. <sighs> Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I can, I can get us on the list. 
All of this that. entire island is on lockdown. How are we going to do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! Tired as shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Five minutes out, Mr. Hanage. Yes. I've come to free you, my friend. Imprisonment. It's unsettling. It's time for you to rejoin the others. To return to the infinite.
Did you okay? Yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. I'm good. We need to get... Get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you understand? Hey, no, get on the ground! Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. Wincott. Yeah. Where's she? She's... Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Gibson. I got Burr. Fiona! 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 You gotta listen to me. Hey! Oh ah. shit! You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me. This isn't about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. Huh? I'll see you there. Burke, you fuck. You know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. Commander Davis? Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. Paul, what about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! You let this happen! Jack, he wants me to become him. He wants me to suffer until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing, minutes before the explosion. Paul. Paul, will you... Paul, will you listen to me? Look, it's time you see her for who she really is. This was a parting gift. They forced her. She's trying to destroy you, She's Paul. trying to help me. Oh, Jesus, but... Look at you. The smartest man I know. Blinded by a fool's love. Paul, what are you planning on? Sophia's loyal. 
she's gotten inside your head. She's always been loyal. You need to think about if this. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. I need to wake my family. I'm afraid we have no time. Hey, pal. I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys. Get away from me. Get away. Emily, listen. No. Listen. Please. 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 No. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful. And they put me to work. 
And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. And so, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you about it. It took me a fucking year. Emily, if Mom, I, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect You have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming. And I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you one last time. It's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. 